want to talk about session one again. It's like a 30,000 foot overview, right? So what's, what is lead conversion? What does that mean? 30,000 foot overview? So session one, I'm going to sort of give you what I'm going to talk. I talk about what the five stages are of the law firm pipeline or what the Mm -hmm. funnel looks like. Give you some definitions that we need to start living by. If we're going to change, truly change our conversion, I'm going to give you those definitions. And I'm going to share with you some of the, in some of the, studies that I participated through, uh, that I participated in through the years that, you know, make us here at LegalSoft a unique entity to be able to teach and share this information. This is all third party stuff. This is not stuff that we just made up. Love it. It's just yeah. experience. It's being on site in the trenches, uh, for 10 years that, uh, that helped me come up with this stuff. Right. So, so lead conversion, right? Law firm owners always have their own definition of what a lead is. Okay, there's so for purposes of calculating lead conversion, as this slide says, a lead is a lead is a lead. Okay, if they're a potential new client contacting your firm for the first time and they have a problem in one of your practice areas, they are a lead. You don't get to pre qualify them. Okay, qualifying comes down further down the chain, but for purposes of lead conversion calculation, a lead is a lead is a lead. A lot of times law firm owners only want to count the qualified leads. Yeah. I was going to say I've spoken to a few that I'm sure you have. Yeah. I'm sure you yeah, have. That's all like, they do is Well, talk about they weren't qualified. Leads. They didn't have money. Yeah. They didn't have any money, so they don't really qualify. Right? Well, did you try and come up with a did they have a problem in one of your practice areas? Yeah, they did. Well, they're a lead. Right. Right. You don't get to pre qualify them. That's what law firm owners do, right? Right. And I, I think to a lot of law firm owners to get caught in the, my clients look like this, mm-hmm. right? Right. So they start chasing that specific client, but that doesn't mean that that's your paycheck. Right. 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 And all, and also, just so you know, in this lead bucket, you can also include referrals. Referrals as well. Referrals Refer- count. Yeah. They okay. count as a lead. Even right? if it's a solid referral? Doesn't matter. If it's a referral in your practice area, they're a lead. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And then I te- uh, the other segment of this is lead conversion. What's lead conversion, right? It's the process by which you push these leads through your funnel to turn more contacts into contracts. So there's a whole process. That's what this eight-week course is about. It's not about the number of appointments. It's not about the number of consults that you have, right? And every single lead must be tracked. Right. Okay. If you're not tracking your leads, and I don't care, you don't have to have a sophisticated CRM for tracking your leads, mm-hmm. right? If it's not in your budget or you don't have knowledge, I don't care if you're using a Google sheet or an Excel spreadsheet. Every single lead must be tracked. Why? So that you can find trends. Thank you. Perfect answer. It helps you determine whether the marketing spend that you're putting money into is paying off. Where are the hot leads coming from? Where are the cold leads coming from? Right? What are our highest and hottest and best leads? And what's the source? Right? right. And where should I not be spending money at all? Right? Yeah, yeah. It, I think that plays also into the execution too. You need to do that that introspection to to you need to look inside and look at your processes and and how you're executing to know whether or not it's working. Hundred percent. Because I heard from a, a couple clients uh, that talk about, you know, a couple firms that talk about, you know, well, we did, we went, we spent a year, we upped our marketing budget ten x, mm-hmm. yeah, and it did nothing. You know, how does that work on the granular level? And that's what you're helping them define. Hundred percent. You you touched on a really pivotal. Bo- pivotal part of it right which is um so you can make intelligent marketing decisions right but the other reason you want to do it cameron is you want to be able to to create a record of your follow-up activity when did you follow up when is the next follow-up what did you send out what what were your what was your activity right right so typically, when a, when a law firm does have a CRM or a software package for, for their leads, I, my old adage is if it's not in whatever that package, so for purposes I can say if it's not in Clio, it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. If it's not in Filevine, it didn't happen. If it's not logged in HubSpot, it didn't happen. 
right? Right. If it's not on the Google sheet, it didn't happen. So it's documenting your intake, your follow-up. When is the next call on my, when do I have to call again? That sort of thing. That's the other reason why you have to document all your leads. Okay? Right. Slide four. Now, now when you're documenting, when you're documenting your leads, mm-hmm. as far as like when you should call back, is there a system to that? Is there 100%. a set time? There is. How do you find that out? So you, uh, yes, there is a set, there are set patterns. There are set, there's set scheduling that I teach in session six, the chase. That'll gotcha. give you sort of the, uh, the magic recipe to converting more leads. Beautiful. I'm jumping ahead. You got <laughs> All it. Right. Right. 